Another year, another Falcon season down the drain. This Falcons team always seems to botch the job, and this year it was no different. It started with the Falcons keeping Arthur Smith, and hopefully that is the only issue because he is finally gone. So for those of you guys who have been watching these videos, you know that I like to tell the story of the team from the start of the season to the finish. But for the Falcons, there's been just one big flaw. A huge, glaring issue with the team, so let's just address the elephant in the room. Arthur Smith. Arthur Smith was hired for the 2021 season to coach this team, and his entire tenure was defined by the misuse of players, bumbled situations, and 7-10. and 10. He was using the run game when he needed to pass, passing the ball to some random third string guy when your wide receiver one was the obvious target and wide open, and overall just not using the right players at the right times when they needed to use them. At the conclusion of the 2023 NFL season, Arthur Smith had acquired a 7-10 and 10 record each and every season, and he was kind of like Jeff Fisher. This means that Smith had a 21-30 and 30 tenure, close to 500, but still not where you want it to be, especially when you look at the weapons this team has. Every year, they drafted in the top 10, and they drafted an offensive weapon. And even if Ritter is a bust, and you didn't have a great quarterback, with all of these weapons around him, you should still have been close to the 500 mark, or even better this season. And you finished at 7-10, and 10, not anywhere near where you were hoping to be and where you should have been. This team just fell flat at every single corner, and Arthur Smith was the common denominator as the reason why. Now that Smith has been fired, it's time to search for their new head coach, and I think that I like them going with a new, young, and unproven coach, someone like a Ben Johnson who could take this team and run it correctly. Not saying that they get Johnson, but someone in that same vein of thinking, as you want to look for a young head coach who is unproven, hasn't had a head coaching job before, and I think that you want to go with the offensive mind because you've built that offense up so much, you want to keep riding that offense and getting better and better and better. And if they could find the right guy, this team can be dangerous next season, and I would not want to face them.